love blind? Have we answered that question yet, America? Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. And I'm here to tell you that yes, love is blind. Looks don't matter. All that matters is what's inside. Filler and breast implants will help you get engaged. So I'm here to watch the season finale of Love is Blind on Netflix. I watched the first episode. It was great. I was a little mad that nobody was but ugly. Like when I heard the concept for this show, I was like, oh my God. But ugly people fall in love with models. They really connect. They see each other and the models like, oh my God, now I have to marry this but ugly person so I don't look like a horrible person on Netflix. That's what I was hoping to watch. Unfortunately, everyone on Love is Blind is super hot. I thought it would be a good idea to blindly, oh, blindly, throwing in the title there. Love is Blind. <laughs> I'm gonna blindly watch the finale. All I've watched is the first episode. I feel like the best way to watch this finale would be with no context. Where I left off, this girl and that guy were about to see each other in person. And it was a really dramatic moment. Will they get married in the finale? Or did it all fall apart because she didn't like how he did his hair? Or she was just like, listen, I love ya. I loved what we talked about in the alien pods and everything, but your chin is weird. That's all I have to say. I'm excited to find out if that happened. Let's watch the weddings. If this doesn't involve one runaway bride or groom, I'm writing a complaint to Netflix. A formal complaint will be sent. Will you say I do to the person you chose, sight unseen? Of course I did. Or are you gonna walk away from them forever? Like, listen, I want some of them to end up happily ever after, but I do hope like some of them walk away forever. For our entertainment, you know, this is a show. They signed up to be drama for us. If they all end up happy, like, yay, that'll be cute, but I'll also be kind of mad. Am I a bad person? Okay, it's Gianni and Damien's wedding day. I don't know any of their names yet, so is that the scientist and his girl or, or who? Do you take, do you need oh my God, they're just going straight into the wedding. Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her so long as you both shall live? I do not. What? Why are you at the altar then? He probably woke up that day and was like, I'm not doing this, hell no. I'm here for the Instagram followers and that's it. But like, he led it all the way up to the altar. Her family's there. How embarrassing. The uncomfortable vibe in the room. I wonder how many people in that room were like holding back a laugh. Not out of meanness, but just because of how uncomfortable it was. I do love you. Okay. Since day one, mm -hmm. I have wanted this. I've wanted to marry you. I've, I've stayed consistent all the way through this. Okay. The only thing is I'm gay and this is my boyfriend. And like out walks a sugar daddy. He's like, yeah, I thought I was bi. I thought it would work out with you, but I'm going with Mr. Miller. He owns an orange juice company and we're gonna go to his mansion in Connecticut. I apologize, but follow me on Instagram, everyone. Get out of my face. They had a whole buffet set up. Did you see that buffet? I really hope the guests still eat it. Like I hope they're all like, yes, this is really sad, but I'm still gonna get a plate of the buffet. Cause like it's here. We aren't gonna waste food just because these two aren't gonna get married because he's gonna go with his sugar daddy in Connecticut. I'm still gonna get the chicken cordon bleu. She said they were having bacon mac and cheese as a side. I'm gonna eat that because I don't wanna contribute to global waste. So I'm gonna eat it and I'm gonna take a to-go box as well. Like where is she running though? Like I understand for dramatic effect, she's gonna run away, but it's like, where are you going? Like you aren't just gonna run down the road. Stay on set, please. We'll give you an Uber X home. Thanks for being on our show. <laughs> like, are you really gonna run down a road? <laughs> Come on. Just wait for one of your family members to drive you out. Your mom brought her minivan. You can get in the back. Like you aren't gonna run down this road, sis. Take a breather and sit down. She got tired and now she's walking. Oh. I'm out of here. 
That sucks. Like, why is she in a forest? Why did she go off path? She was on a road and she decided to go into the forest? Sis, no. Even though she was all in today, it's one day she's been all in. In that moment, I was like, this isn't right because she's saying yes, but everything she showed me, her actions, her words, everything otherwise said that she's not ready for marriage. Like, I'm trying to listen to what he's saying, but he looks so much like my middle school health teacher that all I'm picturing in my mind is like somebody telling me what erections are and me being like, wow. Or like somebody being like, yeah, wet dreams might happen. And like still one hasn't happened to me and I'm in my mid twenties, still waiting. They promised that would happen to me in middle school health class and it hasn't happened to me once. Is something wrong? Don't need to go to a doctor. This is the problem. You're making it about you. It's, it's both of us that have went through you this literally blamed it all on me. I always treated you with kindness, even when I was in adversity, even when I was uncertain. Get out of my face, please. I'm, I'm not in your face. <laughs> <laughs> you already left her at the altar on the wedding day. Just let her think you were in her face. She's like, get out of my face. She's like, I'm, I'm sitting down. I'm four feet away from you. I'm not in your face. I love you. I'm in love with you and I always will be. And I know what happened today was embarrassing and you'll never forgive me for it. And I'm sorry. You messed up. Honestly, that was such bullshit. <laughs> the Netflix producers are like, stop! We have to return that to the bridal shop after we shoot this episode. Like talking into their headset, like she's ripping the wedding dress. Somebody go on set and stop her. Also, I like how he's like, I love you. And I always will. It's like, this is over. They can never be together now because if they ever get married again, how awkward. They're at the altar and all they're both thinking is, remember last time, LOL? Remember when I said no last time? Ha ha. They're done. And it's up to me. The morning of my wedding, is a disaster. My fiance is having cold feet. I got a text from Barnett. He's, he's freaking out, which obviously doesn't put me at ease. Oh my gosh, this couple is also having drama on the wedding day. On the wedding day, her fiance texted her and was like, LOL, IDK about this though. HBU, question mark? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her as long as you both shall live? Oh my God, the buildup, talk, say something. Can you imagine going to an actual wedding and before they say I do, there's like a 30 second pause where they play dramatic reality show music and everyone's just like, are they gonna say yes? That would make weddings so much more exciting. Cause like every wedding I've been to, it's like, yeah, they're gonna say I do. It's never any buildup or suspense. I wanna go to a wedding where it's like 50, 50 chance that we'll even make it to the wedding reception. The thrill of it all, can you imagine? Imagine if you're planning a wedding, put that on the invitations. Be like, this is gonna be unlike any wedding you've ever been to. We aren't even sure if we're gonna say I do. Come to the wedding to find out. You'll have a lot more people RSVPing, trust me. Well, is he gonna say no or? Okay, great, he said I do. I don't know why you had to wait for 60 seconds to say that, that kind of ruined the mood a little. She was literally crying during that pause because she's like, I guess this is no. Oh God. But they made it, they're getting married. <laughs> Love is blind. We were able to make this commitment to each other and then we haven't, you know, had sex yet. I know how I feel about it. Like, how do you feel about it? We are just so perfect on every level. And I just like don't want to throw that in the mix just yeah. yet. Uh oh, we're on to another couple. And I guess the guy is pretty mad because they haven't porked yet. He's like, listen, I love ya. I love our emotional connection or whatever in the pods. But why haven't we banged? Let's get freaky, girl, is what he's saying. And she's like, listen, like maybe we should wait till the wedding night. And he's like, what if it ain't good though? I kind of want to know before. What if it don't hit right on the wedding night? And then we have to get divorced the next day. Let's figure it out before, girl. That's what's going on. And that's why I keep saying like, I'm not in love with him because I feel like if I was in love, like I would have that infatuation. Nothing else matters. But obviously I'm conflicted. 
maybe my whole definition of what in love is supposed to feel like is not right. You're not in love with him? Don't get married then. That's like one of the main things on the tick list that you got a tick to get married. You haven't porked and you aren't in love. Get out. That's a cousin. Like you like your cousins and you don't have sex. Can you imagine if two of the people in this show fell in love in the pods and then did 23 and me and they were like, shit, we're second cousins. Should we still do this? Or is that just like too weird? It's just second cousins, at least. I should be a producer of one of these shows. I can see Kelly fitting into our family. So that makes me very happy. I'm so glad you're our son. You good, Mom. My only son. I just want you to find somebody that loves you as much as I do. She does. And I'm so thankful for it. Ugh, she just said she did it though. He's like, yeah, she loves me. She literally just told the camera like, that's why I don't think I'm in love. This sucks. Kelly, do you take Ken? your lawful wedded husband. Oh no. Together in holy state of matrimony. Is she gonna say I do even though they aren't in love? Comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keeping only unto him so long as you both shall live. I absolutely adore you. But I don't love you is what I'm thinking it's gonna happen. I love you. Now she does love him? Or is she gonna be like, I love you like a brother? That's the worst thing someone can say on a wedding day. But I don't. <gasps> no! This keeps making me think though, like why aren't more weddings like this? I wanna go to a suspense wedding. Oh, it sounds so fun. Just on the edge of your seat, like this might not work. Are we still gonna be able to eat the buffet after? Obviously this is just a, uh, it's a whirlwind for everyone. <laughs> He's now going into a speech. He's like, I'm up here on stage in front of everyone. I guess I might as well talk. Please stop recording this. Cause it's not, this, that's wrong. What? What you're asking. Me. Unfortunately, we're gonna keep filming. You signed the contract. So uh, yeah, just gonna zoom in on your face. All right, sorry, it's my job. I apologize, just pretend I'm not here. In the outside world, I would have never looked twice at Mark. I would have, you know, figured out his age or maybe that he was a fitness instructor and that would be something maybe I wouldn't have been into. We're now onto this girl's wedding. She loves him even though he's 10 years younger than her and he's a fitness instructor. But she says if it wasn't for the show, she'd be like, hell no. Fitness instructor? I want a fitness CEO. But she's like, I'll do it for the show because like it'll be cool for the viewers, you know? Oh my God, is she gonna say I do? Even though he's a fitness instructor? Oh no! I cannot. What?! You could have gotten free fitness training for the rest of your life! I'm so proud of us for getting through the ups and downs, but I don't think either one of us is ready to take this on. But I do want you to know that, and I do love you. I've always been truthful with you because I respect you so much. And if you got lip injections, I would maybe consider it in the future. And if you bleached your hair blonde. I have a thing for blonde, sorry. I guess I'll apologize to whoever I need to apologize to, but I'm not gonna apologize to myself because I'm not actually sorry. She said I don't and she's sorry not sorry by Demi Lovato. Stream it on iTunes. I can't believe that I'm actually here, like on this day, my wedding day. Oh my gosh, we're finally getting to the scientist wedding. Obviously they're both gonna say I do because if you watched the first episode with me, they had thick connections. Wait, it's just gonna be a normal happy wedding? <laughs> Fast forward. Show me how much he loves me. Just in their own little private pool cabana telling each other how much they love one another. I always wonder with these dating reality shows though, like of course it's gonna be wonderful when you're on the helicopter rides and extreme five-star luxury vacations that the TV network's paying for. But are you still gonna love each other at Chili's during happy hour with a bunch of babies crying near you and the table's sticky from the previous customers? Is the love gonna survive there? Think about it, sis. I mean, I still don't know 
completely what you're gonna say. Yeah, I don't want to say a definite answer. I just keep thinking of if this wasn't a regular wedding. If you were like planning a wedding with someone and they were like, yeah, like I know we're spending a lot of money, but like I don't want to give a definite answer. <laughs> like if I'm going to say yes. We're spending thousands of dollars. Aunt Caroline's flying in from the Philippines. And she's still just like, yeah. I don't know, it'll kind of just be like what the vibe of the day is. Like depending on what mood I'm in, you know? Like the vibe might be off on the altar and I might say no, just like want you to know that. I'm grateful for the things that have made me uncomfortable and forced me to grow. Nice. I'm grateful for you. Can you imagine she reads all these vows and then when they say, do you say I do? She's like, no. Like I thought I wanted to do this when I was reading the vows. But then like since then, in like the last two minutes, the vibes just off. Like the vibes in here are a little wonky and I'm gonna have to say I don't. Sorry guys, feel free to still eat the buffet. I do. She's like, I do. I do take you to be my husband. Because if this doesn't work out, there's always divorce. I absolutely believe that love is blind. Six weeks ago, I was extremely hopeful. I had an open mind, but I can say honestly, I did not expect for things to go this far. I mean, that was my hope and dream. Yes, love is blind, they got married. But would it have been blind if she would have saw him for the first time and he had blonde hair down to his butt and refused to cut it and wore it in a high Ariana Grande ponytail at all times. Would it still have been blind? Can't say for sure. For some people, love might be blind, but for me, it's definitely not. It's a mixture of mind, body, and soul. And I never got there. This girl's got it on the nose. Love isn't blind, it's a mix of it all. Yes, you gotta love their personality, you gotta love their values, and you've also gotta love their tits. She's got it right. I'm mourning, but from the ashes comes a phoenix. I thought she said from the ashes comes a penis, and I was like, go girl, yeah. From the ashes comes but she said a phoenix. But also, from the ashes of her destroyed wedding day, hopefully a penis will come out and she'll be able to get married again. So it works both ways, phoenix and penis. The fact that Cameron and I found each other without ever even seeing each other, it's like what we saw was each other's soul. And that's the most beautiful thing that I've ever experienced in my life. What a beautiful show. It didn't sell me on the idea that love is blind, but if this show taught us anything, it's that you shouldn't meet people on Tinder, you should meet them in alien pods and get engaged within four days and get married three weeks after that. Thank you guys for coming along on this journey. Don't forget to subscribe, Follow me on my social medias and comment below if you think love is blind. Let me know. Bye.